I'm out at the far end of another harbor walk appendage. This one runs by Fort Point Channel. And this is kind of where it terminates. You have the run of explanatory plaques that a pedantic place like Boston does with panache and aplomb. Here we have a fine summary of the functions of the various Four Point Channel bridges. And this gives you a handle of, on the early commerce that drew up in this area. It's also the proximity of the postal annex. That's the main rail line heading to New York through South Station, which is just over there a ways. the Boston skyline. This is some odd circle memorial to Philip M. Estes. And then we have this striking piece over here. The place is a little desolate and forlorn and is principally popular with urban dog yuppies, which <laughs> are kind of a scourge, <laughs> another subset of the most obnoxious outdoor and open space user community. And here's the third thing which covers the old colony railroad bridge and that's probably a piece of it. Oh yes, they even outline as much to make sure we know. Yes, old industrial era South Station. This is more or less a little circle thing. It's not the most impressive park, it's just another interesting end of Harbor Rock. With dog yuppies, lots of them coming in waves. <coughs> this looks towards a red line yard. There's some interesting rail yard stuff around over here that I'll eventually figure out. A 
looks like I could get a pretty good sense of it from that overpass. So now the thing heads this way. Pass is the little guard shack that's your rear side entrance to the postal annex. And this structure right here is just a gigantic vent thing for the Ted Williams Tunnel. Also, a location for Gillette. That other dog got me. They sure hate leashes. Very entitled. heads this way. There's some kind of bus action, I wonder which one. Gillette World Headquarters, one of the grand businesses of Massachusetts that eventually was scoffed up by Procter and Gamble in the great easy money merger phase. <laughs> Look, there's all kinds of antique signs and stuff in bygone dead Boston businesses. Must have a salvage operation. Little Jack Horner jokes and magic. <laughs> House of Hurwitz. It's like they're a collector of the signs of dead businesses. The picturesque old. This is a cool view of the skyline. The rail lines coming in. Some snow berms remaining. Ah, it's the Fort Point element. Thank you. 
this will take you along the back side of the postal annex, but it's really off limits to pedestrians. And here's a little niche spot along this industrial walkway. The fence is probably a paranoia remnant from 9-11. Who knows? Pedestrians are kind of a low priority in much of Boston anyway. There's a Cormoran Sentinel off in the distance. Guarding the moment with care. A few gulls and geese. Some of gulls, some of geese, some of them. It's a nice little vista of general four point area.